we're going to compute the surface area of revolution of this function about the x-axis on the interval x from 0 to 7 pi. This problem is going to throw several complications at us, but let's start by setting up the integral. I believe since y is given to us as a function of x, it makes sense to use this version of the formula right here. And since this formula has a dy dx in it, we have to take y and take a derivative with respect to x. Plugging that result into the formula here and plugging our original function in right here is going to give us the following integral, which we can rewrite. And I said there would be complications, and this is where they start. The first thing that we can notice is that this integrand here changes value from positive to negative several times on the interval 0 to 7 pi. To be a little bit more specific, we can say that this integrand is 2 pi periodic. The integrand will look something like this. So as we learned in the past, if we just try to integrate this and plug in the limits 0 to 7 pi, we're going to get cancellations where this area turns out to be positive and this area turns out to be negative. And in fact, if we only integrate from 0 to 2 pi, our answer will be 0. That is clearly not going to be the surface area if we rotate the sine of x about the x-axis. So typically what we need to do is we need to split up this integral into 7 pieces, a piece from 0 to pi, a piece from pi to 2 pi, a piece from 2 pi to 3 pi, and so on, all the way up to 7 pi. However, I don't think that this is practical. A better solution would be to just integrate from 0 to pi, and then multiply that entire result by 7. That will work because of the symmetry of this situation. So let's take a look at that integral. Okay, we can simplify this just a little bit, but as soon as we've taken care of one issue, a new one pops right up. We could do a quick u substitution, and making this u substitution would make the integral look something like this, and changing the limits from x to u would give its limits on u from negative one to one. But ultimately there's a problem here. This integral requires what we call a trigonometric substitution. And because these surface area of revolution problems are pretty early in a Calc 2 class, it is not likely that you've talked about trig substitutions yet. I'll be making some videos involving trigonometric substitutions soon enough, but until that time comes, I'm just gonna say that we're gonna plug this in to an online integrating calculator, and the decimal that this thing spits out is just a little bit over 100, because we're talking about surface area, that would be square units, so that is technically gonna be the answer. And I'm sorry if it's a little bit unsatisfying that we couldn't do this integral by hand, but it gives you something to look forward to. Look for trig substitutions coming in these videos a little bit down the line. But for now, I think we're just gonna call that problem good. I hope that you learned something about the setup of these problems, and I hope that it helped you in some way. I'll see you in the next one.